While many residents are coping with dry taps, they are anxious about their living conditions if water does not return by Tuesday. Even as the Salcott ramped up water production and supply, many residents in Santa Flora, Coover, South Urupuch, Pinal and Paisabad are still waiting for a drop of water. In Gasperlo, Keo Best said the shutdown came on Saturday, the scheduled day for water in his community. While Best is coping, some of his neighbors are not. Why are you two little tank they just have some in it? But you have other neighbors who doesn't have that. So they're having problems. And sometimes some of them be among the people in the household know that <clears throat> the two little tank they have doesn't last long. Sharina Lutchman at Nash Trace was worried that her tanks are empty. A few hundred meters at Solidad Road West, Kawal Chan had water flowing through his hose. However, it was a bit dirty. Well, I pull up some water. I was using water to drink and to cook. I um, buy water. Buy water. Yeah. So the water, the water full to in them containers is more to bleed, you know, to bleed and what's going on. Well, if it continues like that, what I will finish. I got to take my can go and look for water. Brown water trickled from the taps of San Fernando residents. While some people complained, Marabella resident Weston Sargent says he is generally satisfied with Wasser's service. To be honest, as I told you, we always have water. It's just yesterday, it went for the longest while. While Wasser's residential customers are holding on, the shutdown severely affected businesses in South and Central. One mall was on the verge of shutting down in San Fernando as its tanks were empty. President of the Greater San Fernando Area Chamber of Commerce, Kiran Singh, said business was stressed. We didn't close any businesses, but certainly there was a, 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 an additional level of stress placed on staff to work. So, and your customers weren't allowed to use washroom facilities because we weren't able to facilitate the, the washrooms in a hygienic manner. Some restaurants and bars in Shigonas could only offer takeout as they had to keep their washrooms closed. The problem is, this, this, this issue occurs, you know, every few months. It is not to say that it, you, have, you have an electrical problem now, and then you had another problem, um, let's say, a few months ago for something else. Um, you know, it happens all the time. And when we are out of water for one or two days, um, to, to refill back the lines and to, to get into to all the businesses, it takes quite a few more days. Wasser says it will continue to supplement the supply shortfall with truck-borne water. Kevin Felman, CNC3 News.